good. Oh god. Is that too much? <laughs> good morning. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> A different way to start my video. Today's video is a vlog and I'm going to be taking you through my day or week. I've not quite thought about it. But I'm just going to be taking you through my skincare routine in real time. I want to show you what I'm currently using so you can get a close look at what I'm doing with my skin on a more like day to day basis. Basis. No, that came out weird because of my mouth card. And yeah, I feel like let's just get right into the video. So I'm just going to use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love this cleanser. So face is clean, ready to start the day. So, my skin looks so blotchy. You can see up close. Anyway, don't mind the box in the back. I literally just moved a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I've got, show about the light, but I've got toner. So I'm going to do toner first. This is the Y Weight Rose Toner. I basically just do like a tiny drizzle. Pat it in. On the neck, down the neck. It's nice. Oh, we've got essence. This is the kombucha facial treatment essence. Just do a couple Ooh. taps of that and do the same. Bring that down the neck. Let's just put it all over. Then for serum, let's see. Serum, we're doing the Cordially Radiant Serum Complexion Protect. I actually have, so I dug out another one i have so many samples everywhere and then i'm just gonna do like i like to do a lot i should do just like that much i'm getting like some dark things coming up very annoying skin is my skin is just never consistent at all then for um moisturizer i've got the fresh rose deep hydration face cream whack that on my skin is feeling quite dry these days i think because we're moving into like the winter well winter it's literally autumn so sometimes i will just um put on a bit of extra moisturizer this is kind of where i tend to suffer a bit just rub that in a bit more so we're going to do sunscreen i'm kind of debating about what sunscreen to use today um but you know what because i've not really shown the sunscreen i'm gonna use it today so today we are going to be using the nivea sun dark spot control sunscreen this is very what's the word thick <laughs> so i've got my two fingers i think i showed you my like top six summer favorite products it's like kind of it looks more white on camera but it's not white it's kind of like a tinted sunscreen Lather it on. Don't forget your neck. Probably should have put this on before I put my hoodie, but whatever. And you see, like, when it gets on your hairline, like, it just, like, rubs out quite easily. It takes a bit of time to actually rub in, unlike the um, cordially sunscreen, but it's fine. It does a good enough job, and I find that this is quite hydrating. I feel like this is a bit more hydrating than the cordially sunscreen. Um, and it's got a nice watermelon -y scent and voila that is my skincare routine done my lips are feeling a bit dry so i need to find i need to find a lip balm i don't actually have a lip balm oh actually wait no so i actually did an elizabeth arden order literally when was it it must have been like March, if not, it was, you know, it was last year I did an order. I was rummaging around, like I said, I've just moved. 
and I came across a bunch of stuff that I ordered from them. This is the eight hour cream, but as a lip balm and this has SPF 50 in it. This is the first time I've used it. You can see this is like brand new. It's just been on my desk, but I've actually not used it. I'm just gonna like whack it on with you guys and see. See if I like it. My lips. Smell like anything. Okay, I need to start. I've done too much. I will report back at some point about that. Hi guys, it is about quarter past 10. So now we're gonna do my evening skincare routine. I've got a new product to show you. Well, it's not really new because I've been using this for a couple of weeks. I actually discovered this in TK Maxx. This is the Organic Apatiki Buttermilk Cleanser. And this is good for removing your makeup. It just removes like dirt, pollution, and daily grime from your face. They describe this as a nourishing facial cleanser and makeup remover. And this has certified organic materials. The main thing that attracted me to this was that this has damask rose in it. And if you know me, if you've watched any videos on this channel, then you know that I love rose. And rose is something that my skin really likes and really agrees with me. I do about like four pumps of this because they don't really specify i also use this to take off my makeup as well but when it's just like sunscreen i would do like four pumps and i just massage it let me see in circular motions just massage it in circular motions like they say to do so i've just rinsed it off so just to you know double cleanse i like to double cleanse i'm just gonna take my fresh soy face cleanser and i'm gonna double cleanse i'll just do a small bit because this cleanser thing i think is quite effective i'm just gonna go over that the light is not the best but you kind of get the gist <laughs> Okay, so the face is clean, we've double cleansed. This cleanser is alright, this is 120 ml and I think I got this for 12 99 but the original price of this is something like £64, something crazy like that. It's alright, will I buy it again? Probably not, but I don't dislike it, but I just don't think I would buy it again. One, because I don't think I'd be able to find it, and two, it's not something that I'm actively looking for. I'm not like actively going to go out and search for it because it's not that deep. Ooh. And there are a bunch of other things that I can use instead. Tonight we're doing the Dr. Dennis Gross cleansing pads. So going in with the first sachet. This first sachet is supposed to exfoliate and smooth your skin. It's funny, I actually stopped using these pads for a while just because my first packet actually um, finished. My skin literally <laughs> did not like that. So started using these again i really love these pads they're just such a simple way to like get some chemicals on your face treat your skin and these are also great for like anti-aging so if you're looking for a simple way to get into your anti-aging or like you just want to do something anti-aging but you know you're like mid-20s early 30s so it's like a great way to start i just bring that around put that down the neck never forget the neck we've all seen that picture of that lady with her neck and i know it's more to do with sunscreen but i think it's just a testament to skincare application in general like don't forget your neck you will regret if you forget your neck gonna set a timer on for two minutes i'm gonna get changed and then i'm gonna come back and do the second sachet so two minute timer has gone off time to do sachet number two this is the anti-aging neutralizer and this basically just neutralizes what we've just done with step one it's pretty much the same I've got like bumps i don't know if you can see you've got like all these things coming up i have just come off my period though so i'm gonna blame that i've got that coming up just going over everywhere again just to make sure you neutralize everywhere like so your skin's not looking so bad these are kind of new so with that done it is a moisturizer i do like this moisturizer however for the last couple of months i've been using the nivea i don't know what it is like the nivea soft cream that is amazing and i think i prefer that as a night cream to this just because it's a bit thicker it's a bit more 
I don't know what the word is. It just feels a lot nicer from the skin. This is very thin. I used to not think this was that thin, but this fresh night cream is so thin. And I think especially now that we're getting into the colder months, it's too thin for me. Like my, like I just need something thick. I like using the soft cream after using the Dennis Gross peels, just because there's something a bit more comforting about using something like thick and occlusive once you've just done like a chemical treatment. Somehow this Youth Preserve feels like it's got its own chemicals in it that just don't quite, I, I'm not getting a reaction, like a negative reaction, but they just don't seem to like mesh well together, I found. So yeah, that is all really. Um, but yes, yeah, night cream time. So I'm just gonna dab this on, because you obviously need night cream. Don't forget the neck. Rub this in, like so. That is evening skincare all done. It's nice, we feel good. The skin looks pretty good, um, apart from a couple of blemishes, which we see, I feel like, you know, could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Sunscreen, so I'm just gonna put on some sunscreen now. Uh, I think I used this Nivea one yesterday. So now we're gonna get on to makeup. Beauty blender. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Let me do it in here because this is better light. I really love this foundation. It just like covers everything really well. Got my NYX can't stop, won't stop. Just gonna set this. This guarantees you will not have an ounce of mask transfer. Also, it's funny because my face gets so dry, but this is a very drying powder. It's quite nice. Next, I'm gonna do a bit of blush. I've been using the Glossier Cloud Paint in the colour Spark. Let's just do like the tiniest bit. If you've ever used a cloud paint, then you know that a little goes a really long way. You see that colour already? Just to turn it down like a little bit. I'm just gonna just go over. Then I like to layer that with the NARS orgasm. Just do like a bit of that on the back of the hand. And then I just put that on the top. And then just for a bit of extra glow. Just put it on my lids like my eyes like a bit more awake i'm not precious about it it's funny because i'm just going to work but i still want to look a bit cute i was listening to a podcast last week and these women i think they're called fat mascara i've not actually listened to their podcast but i was listening to the skinny confidential podcast and they were saying that um bobby brown once said that as long as your so i think it's your hair outfit or makeup as long as you have like one of those three that looks good then you're kind of good to go so i just kind of feel like as long as my face looks good that's really the only thing that matters so yeah even though i'm just going to work just put on a bit of makeup and then for mascara we're doing the rodeo glamour lash mascara i'm now gonna set my face <sighs> oh god oh god is that too much <laughs> okay let's put some earrings in it is uh 7.57 so i need to get a move on this show is so wrinkled <laughs> i really hate this in between weather because i don't know like how to dress <laughs> oh i'm gonna be so hot by the time i get to the office i'm gonna take this vest off otherwise I'm just going to be too hot. Shit, I'm so getting late. I have to walk quite far. 
far from the station to get to work, so I don't want to be swearing. Oh, so 801, fuck. It's a bit of a popped collar. It's quite cute. If I had a necklace, but I don't really like wearing a necklace. Necklace, necklace, necklaces. Okay, I'm just going to pack my bag. I'm going to go and shop. And basically, I take pretty much everything that I put on my face. I take to work. Well, almost everything. So I put in my bag. Take my brush. see it so well but it's like a natural makeup okay now i need to leave it's like six past oh god hi guys i've just come back from work and i thought i would pick up my camera and just show you guys what we look like i literally still look exactly the same as i did this morning but most importantly let me show you my mask let me show you you can see like the lack of transfer there's like a tiny bit of transfer there but really, there has been no transfer. Quickly, before my camera dies, like, do we see? There's no transfer, everything is on, looking exactly how I looked this morning, so. <laughs> so it's like 10.30 right now, so I'm just gonna take off my makeup. I'm going to the office again tomorrow, so it's bedtime. So I'm just gonna show you how I take off my makeup. My recent discovery is this organic, of Poteki, I don't know how you pronounce that, buttermilk cleanser, and I've been using this literally every single evening. They say this is actually a cleanser and makeup remover, so that's what actually attracted me to this, because I'm always looking for makeup removers, and this actually does remove your makeup really well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like let's do seven, just for safe measure. And like it's quite watery. I think I tried to show you this earlier. Like it's quite watery. And um, yeah, I've only just like massaged that. I feel weird about this because the smell is like, I feel like if you squint, it smells very disgusting. But for the most part, it smells okay. But if you think too hard about it, the smell isn't that nice. And surprisingly, this cleanser is also good for taking off mascara, which I'm always a bit skeptical about. I definitely believe that like taking off your makeup should not take as long but it should definitely take at least half of the time it takes to put it on. So I'm never in any rush to get my mascara off. So I just do a double cleanse using the fresh soy face cleanser. This fresh cleanser is also supposed to be good for like taking off makeup. Okay, let me dry my hands. Now I'm just gonna brush my teeth let my face dry out a bit because we're going to do our our say as if we're here together but you know we're here together doing skincare together um so yeah so i'm just gonna brush my teeth let my face dry a bit because i'm gonna do um my I'm gonna do my dennis gross peels okay so my face is actually dry so now we're gonna do do these pads again i did them yesterday i feel like one of those cartoons where you can never see their full face let me step back see the face see the face this is really irritating i feel like i need to physically exfoliate my face my face will so ugh. okay just gonna pop that on and then we will regroup in two minutes the alarm has just gone off so time for the second sachet I honestly swear by these. I think I said in my last video, I don't like to really recommend products because that's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of responsibility recommending 
product because you just don't know how people's skins are gonna react and everyone has the different skin and everyone has different skin concerns and what might work for even within the same skin concern bracket what might work for one let's say dark skin person with dry skin and hyperpigmentation won't work for another so i always am a bit like <laughs> you know hesitant to properly be like oh yeah get this get this get this because at the end of the day if you're going to be spending even like five pounds on something you don't want to ever feel like you're wasting your money and i say all that to say that i actually like these Dennis Gross pads are just amazing and when I was first using them the difference in my skin was actually crazy and I can feel that I mean to be fair my skin looks my skin looks pretty good at the moment but I just know that because I haven't been using these pads I literally didn't use them all summer and so now I feel like my skin is kind of going back I mean to be fair all of the products that I've been talking about recently they have been good but you may notice that there's not really been a chemical, physical, chemical product in there. No, physical. There's not really been like a chemical product in there. I guess the U Beauty resurfacing compound is kind of been chemically, but these pads, I don't know what's in them. Well, I know what's in them, but these peel pads are just absolutely amazing. I think if you can get your hands on them, I think they're on Cult Beauty. I think you can get them from Netta Porter. I think just type them into Google. But if you can get your hands on these Dr. Dennis Gross pads, like your life will be made up. These are iconic and these are iconic for a reason. They're so good. They're so effective. And you only have to be really using them, I'd say, for like three or four weeks, which is basically the whole monthly supply if you get the 30 pack. But they're amazing, they're so good. I just really love them. And yeah, they are really so effective. It's annoying because they are a bit expensive. I think the 30 pack is like 89 pounds, I think. I don't know how much, I think the five pack is, the five pack is about 20 pounds. That's a bit more affordable, but even though it's still a bit, but it's a bit more affordable. Okay, so I'm gonna let that settle for a bit, but you can even see like, the way the light is bouncing off my face. Like, it is literally amazing. And my skin feels very, like, nice. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna put on some night cream. I like to slather night cream on because I just feel like, why not? <laughs> I think a lot of my reasoning is reasoned in why not? Because I'm like, I'm paying for it. Anyway, may as well slather myself on. Although as much as I do like this fresh moisturizer, I'm gonna rebuy the Nivea cream because it's just, in the winter it's a lot thicker and it's just nice from the skin, especially when you've done like a chemical thing, you want to feel like your skin is being pampered and taken care of. And I feel like this fresh lotus cream, it's not, like it feels luxurious and you can feel that it's expensive, but it doesn't like make my skin feel like, I don't know, but it is nice. It's a nice cream and I do like it and I've rebought it a million times because I do like it. And to be fair, I will definitely buy it again. But I just feel like after you've done like a chemical thing, you don't want to be like putting, you want something thick and like unctuous on your face, you know? But anyway, skincare is done. I'm gonna put on my night wrap. Cool beans. So literally now I'm ready for bed, but I'm not going to bed <sighs> because where'd be the fun of that? It is 11 though, it is 11 p.m. So I'm gonna go to bed in like 30-ish minutes, um, but I'm just gonna do some editing. So I will catch you guys tomorrow in the morning and yeah. Sweet dreams. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs>I use my Dr. Barbara Sturm enzyme cleanser. I'm not gonna do my Dennis Gross peels. So we're gonna do all of the old favorites, toner, essence, serum, 
night cream and then we're good to go. Serum. Say la, Lisa love me, la, Lisa love me. La, Lisa love me, la, Lisa love me. La, Lisa love me. La, Lisa love me. La, Lisa love me. Give me some L A L A S A. Oh, look at that! Literally, look like a glazed donut. Love it. The only thing I'm not loving are these. There's not a lot to love when you're looking like a chocolate chip cookie. And then night cream. We're doing this fresh night cream. I actually just got an email from Rodial. They're doing a. Uh, I think they're just promoting their uh, retinol products and I'm like let me buy some stuff from Rodeo. I've not actually shopped on Rodeo in a long time so maybe if I buy from them in the next couple of days then I'll do like a skincare unboxing in my next vlog because I do want to be doing these kind of like weekly skincare vlogs just so you can see what I'm using in real time and just see how my skincare routine, makeup routine changes from day to day, if at all, because it doesn't always change. But some nights I'll do something completely random and then other days I'll just do something completely random. This is just a good way for you to stay on top of everything that I'm doing and there's so many products on my Lazy Susan wheel and I don't get a chance to show you all of them either because it's just, it takes a lot <laughs> to film like a review video and to properly use everything for a week and all of that stuff so I think this is just a better way for me to show you everything that I'm doing that I'm using and then the things that I review are just the things that I think are worth talking about whether in a good way or a bad way does that make sense I think that makes sense okay so I'm looking pretty good I think tomorrow I'm going to start using my Marty Derm serum to get rid of this because this is doing my head in time to get my head scarf on we saw this yesterday didn't we oh, what's the time i need to do my duolingo in a bit it's actually 11 on the nose it's 11 i need to do my duolingo um so yeah just gonna do that continue editing and then i'm gonna go to bed but i will see you guys tomorrow we skipped today. I didn't vlog yesterday. Today is Friday. This is so random. I just want to show you how I moisturize my hands as this is a weekly skincare routine vlog. This is really not anything groundbreaking at all, but I moisturize my hands using the Nivea Soft and the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Got some nice hand cream. This is literally on like last fucking legs. Just do a tiny bit. Look at that. And then I'm gonna take a bit of this. When I first used this eight hour cream, I thought it would be actually a cream. I didn't realize it was like a balm. And that kind of put me off. I don't really like using balms because they're just very thick. But when you use this with a lotion cream or with a cream, it's really nice and you get a really nice I don't know like it just is really nice i also noticed that once i started using the eight hour cream my nails have been so strong and they've been growing super fast and essentially that is how i moisturize my hands and i will do this about three to four times a day because i literally go to the toilet so much tmi and obviously you wash your hands after you go to the toilet my two hand creams and you can see look at my nails they're so nice and if you get ashy if you are dark skinned and you get ashy you need to get on this cream combo it is amazing and my hands are nicely moisturized they're feeling a bit balmy i think i put on a bit too much eight hour cream hi guys so it is Friday, technically Saturday morning because it's literally 1am. I look very different. It is wash day this weekend. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for spending the week, or should I say the last couple of days with me. So funny, I cut my hair last week. No, I must have cut my hair like two weeks ago and it's so short. I think I cut it a bit 
I cut my hair a bit too short. But anyway, what am I saying? I'm literally waffling. Um, but anyway, yes, just wanted to thank you guys. No, but this hair, it's cute though. Like it's kind of cute having it short like this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions regarding any of the products that I have used in this video, as always, leave them down below in the comments. As always, I'm gonna have every product that I've used in this video linked down below in my description box. So if you are curious about anything, you wanna buy anything, you wanna look into anything, you're just nosy, I'm very nosy, so I get you if you're nosy, then just make sure you head down to my description box. So yeah, thanks for watching again. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.